This video is about how to use the triple beam balance. Um, first of all, um, this we uh, put a piece of filter paper on the top to protect the tray. And to, to before we get started, we wanna make sure that all of the weights on each of the beams is at the zero position. And you want that to be where the uh, pointer is pointing at the zero. And then you wanna go over and make sure that the pointer is actually pointing at zero to make sure that that is uh, all lined up. And that it looks like it's a little bit off. Um, so you use the adjustment knob located under the pan. And let's see if I can get it to change a little bit. This one's giving me a little bit of trouble, so. Okay, that looks pretty good. So it's at zero. And what we're gonna do is take our SpongeBob cup and put it on the tray that has um, many little weights in there. So we will uh, then proceed. Um, you wanna use the heaviest weight first. So we have um, three beams. Uh, the first beam is a single gram weight. Uh, the second beam or the middle beam is a 100 gram weight. And the last one back in the back is a 10 gram weight. So you always wanna start with the heaviest and you want this, you wanna move the weight along the beam until you hear it click. And it clicked and it's at the 200, it's pointing downwards. But as you can see, it's too much weight. So what we're gonna do is take it back to the 100 and see if that worked. Well, that's not enough weight, so we need to add some weight. We can't go and put this in between uh, because it's not pointing at a number. So you leave that at the 100, and then we go to the 10 gram weight. So if we use the 10 gram weight, we just kind of push it over until we get a movement out of it. So let's take it up to 50. Okay, it's still not moving, so let's take it up to 70. Okay, that's a little too much because that pointer is going below the zero. So let's take it to 60. Okay, so it is, um, 60 is okay. So now we need to move the single gram weight. How about 64? Uh, that's not enough. So let's move this until we got some movement. Probably not enough or too much let's see oh wow that's pretty good all right let's take it at that so the way to get the actual measurement is you add all three weights weights together so you would have 100 grams plus 60 and this down here then is 8.1 so the total weight is going to be 168.1 grams. And that's easy. That's it. 